college professor? A professor, a president of the university. <laughs> Congress. And between you and me, he didn't make it. And then Ted eats me off. <laughs> he is an editor, a public speaker, and an ordained minister. Eh? Not bad. <laughs> He's authored numerous books, big thick ones, eh? covers. <laughs> Including the recently revised Understanding the Times, the religious. Uh, <laughs> I had to write this down, all right, guys? All right. It was last minute. Don't tell your mother. I don't want your mother calling. <laughs> understanding the times, the religious worldview of our day, and a search for truth, a landmark guide to understanding the ideas and forces that are shaping our times. I think I, uh, I've got it right here. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Not bad, huh? Listen, kiddos, if you want to know what's going on in the world out there today, don't get your composed in the Clinton News Network. Nah, get yourself a copy of one of these books. Yeah, yeah. And don't listen to Al Gore either. <laughs> Am I being too hard on Al? <laughs> Speaking of global warming, yeah, it's hot in here. <laughs> hey, Tiger, you think it's hot in here? Yeah, it's pretty hot, right? We're just talking. <laughs> now, he's told us he's not the sharpest spoon in the drawer. But he was a PhD candidate in philosophy at the University of Wisconsin. He holds a BA from Hope College in Holland, Michigan, which I've heard is easier than shooting an elephant in a water tank with a nuclear weapon right here in downtown Manitou. <laughs> I'll tell your mother that. Yeah. Oh, oh, speaking of global warming again, is Yeah. Be careful you don't overheat. I don't want you to die see something. Your mother might want to sue me over that. I just tell her to get in line. He has an MA from the University of Tulsa. Aye, aye, aye. This guy has more degrees than a thermometer. of the university, or of the ministry's publication, The Journal, a monthly review of news. Okay. He is a member of the Council of National Policy, the National Association of Scholars, and the American Philosophical Association. I think it's safe to say that he and learning go together like Mary, and Mary's little Mary. He's the president of some ministries, and without him, we would not have had, in these past two weeks, more fun than a human ought to have. <laughs> so please join me as I put my former nacho stained fingers together and welcoming Dr. David A. Noble. <laughs> 